<laughs> hey everyone, welcome to our vlog. Have you ever thought about how much of our lives are connected to the digital world? Today, we're diving into a crucial topic, computer threats. As we embrace technology, it's crucial to understand the risk that comes with it. Imagine this, you receive an email claiming to be from your bank account, urging you to click the link to verify your account. This seemingly innocent email could be a phishing attempt aiming to steal your sensitive information. This threat disguised as legitimate ones can silently install malware on your device without you even realizing it. The aftermath of falling victims to computer threats can be devising picture losing access to your all your personal files because of ransom attack. It happens and it can be happened to anyone. One simple yet powerful defense is a strong password. Don't choose password 123, OPT for a combination of letters, numbers, and symbols to create a robust barrier against unauthorized access. Two-factor authentication is like having an extra lock on your digital door and enable it whenever possible to add an extra layer of security. And always make sure your connections are encrypted. So additional to this is think about those pop-up ads that claiming you've won a prize and just need to click the to claim it. These ads might lead you to fraudulent websites, attempting to exploit vulnerabilities in your device. Always be wary of unsolicited offers online. The impact of users is consider the emotional toll or identity theft, picture receiving bills for purchases you never made, or discovering someone else in using your personal information. It's not just a financial loss, it's a violation of privacy and trust. So, so pro sa mga pre prevention dito is, pag-usapan natin yung about sa password hygiene. Using the same password across multiple accounts is like using one key for all your doors. If a hacker girl gets a hold of it, they have access to everything, diversity, your password for added security. Yung mga security-based practices po dito is ano, parang yeah, you have, you have ano, you have received a code on your phone to verify login. Tas meron dun two factor authentication in action. As ito yung po yan, powerful way to ensure that even if your password din compromise, an extra layer of security keeps your account safe. So let's talk about Trojan Horse. A Trojan horse is a type of malware that discusses itself as legitimate software to deceive users. Once installed, it can create backdoors, steal information, or damage your device. It doesn't replicate like a virus but relies on users' actions, often tricking them into unwittingly installing it. <coughs> Always be cautious about downloading from untrusted sources to reduce the risk of Trojan infections. Trojan horses can take various forms, such as fake software updates or email attachments. Once activated, they may allow unauthorized access to your device, <coughs> enabling remote controls by attackers. These malicious programs can also be used to deliver additional malware, compromise sensitive data, or even turn your device into part of a botnet from coordinated cyber attacks. Regularly updating your security software and exercising, exercising cautions while downloading files helps me, me detect the risk of Trojan infections. Certainly, here are a few examples of Trojan horse malware along with grip definition. First one is <coughs> Sus Trojan. Sus Trojan is a banking Trojan, Trojan design to steal financial information. It often targets online banking banking credentials and personal data. A computer firewall is a security system, either hardware or software based, that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. It acts as a barrier between a trusted internal network and untrusted internal network, such as the internet to prevent unauthorized access and protect against potential security threats. And firewalls' primary function include packet filtering, skateful inspection, proxy servers, 
network address, translation, and logging to enhance the overall security of a computer network. Packet filtering. Examining data packets to determine whatever they should be allowed to block based on predefined rules. This helps prevent unauthorized access and potential security threats. Grateful infection, keeping track of the state of active connection and making decision based on the context of the traffic. This method enhance security by understanding the context of network communication. Proxy server, acting as intermediary for communication between internal and external system. Proxies can add an additional layer of security by controlling and filtering specific types of traffic. Network address Translation NAT modifying network address information in packeting headers while in transit not help conceal internal network constructor and provide an additional layers of security. Logging and monitoring, recording and analyzing network activity including permitted and denied traffic. This helps an administration identify the response to potential security incidents. Firewall can be implemented in both hardware and software firms. Hardware firewall are often separate devices that sit between a network and its connection to the internet while so far firewalls are application installed on individual device. By enforcing access policies and filtering network traffic firewalls play a crucial role in protecting system from unauthorized access, malware, and other cyber threats. about the Defender Firewall, how to turn on and off. First step, search the control panel. Second step, find the system and security. Third step, find the Window Defender Firewall. Fourth step, find the Find the Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. So, kung gusto mong ma-save yung computer mo, i-on mo siya. So, paano ba siya i-on? Ganda siya i-on. Pipindutin mo yung bilog dyan. Yung Turn On Windows Defender Firewall. Mas maganda na naka-on yung Windows Defender Firewall mo para ma-save yung computer mo, lalo yung file mo and yung system ng computer mo, para iwas din sa expensive na paggastos. And, kung to turn off mo naman, nasa iyo kasi computer mo yan. And, ang disadvantage lang na itong pag naka-turn off, is yung madali pasukin yung system ng computer mo. And, mas, mag, mas mabilis ka makap. For me, mas maganda kung naka-turn on ka. If okay na, click here the okay i-click yung okay dito sa baba and you know